Hello everyone, welcome to the House of Horrors. Now I believe I mentioned in my last video that I was going to have this particular mega scale coming in. And it just came in a couple days ago, so we're going to touch base on it. We're going to look at the box art, and we're going to check out the warning label. I'm going to tell you something about the warning label. They are button batteries that are located in the back of these mega scales. Three of them to be exact. Uh, they have a tendency to let you know that... Uh, if you swallow them, uh, you're going to get sick and all that good stuff because of the battery acid. All right. Okay. Just want to make sure that damn thing don't fall on me. All right. I got this uh, black background. It's really, really, it looks good when you uh, pull out your mega scales and stuff. And, you know, the usual stuff, the backgrounds are cool. But anyway, the warning label right here. Pretty much tells you that they're lithium batteries, and if you swallow them, uh, death can occur, okay? But at the same time, you can get sick just from, uh, or, and uh, what do they call it, battery burn or something? If you swallow one of these, uh, you make sure your kids don't get anywhere near these batteries. Anyway, long story short, when it comes to these batteries, uh, I do have a bunch of them that you get in 50 packs. Alright, I'm going to show you what those look like right here. And I got all of them sitting in here, but here's the thing, and I've said this in my other videos, because I got this 50 pack from Amazon, and if it's a certain company that doesn't seem to do uh, charge the batteries properly, if they're overcharged, they have a tendency to explode on you, and they will. The caps and everything will pop apart, and you hear this loud pop, and it can cause harm. And I've said this in my other, battery, uh, my other uh, videos because of those batteries. So you got to be careful with them. Especially if you're going to put them in your mega scales and they, and they explode inside your uh, mega scale. Now that's not a good thing. Okay. So be careful when you actually buy these uh, batteries. You get them from a reliable source. Not just some cheap you know, 50 pack that you can get for 20 bucks. Which is what I did. And for the most part they work. But like I said they have a tendency to explode because... They didn't charge them right, so that sometimes they're overcharged. That's what happens. All right, but anyway, let's get into the box art here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down this video. And then we're going to get into the actual figure, the articulation, and the sound effects that come with it. Now, I already showed you the label. So now, I'm going to have to lay this on the side because the figure, all mega scales, are 15 inches tall. Okay, so some, just know that. All right, see, I can talk. This is from the Seed of Chucky. Okay, that's the actual movie that came out after the Bride of Chucky. In the Bride of Chucky is where they actually transferred uh, Jennifer Tilly's spirit or into the body of this doll. And she's wearing the black leather jacket and all that good stuff. Maybe they'll do a mega scale based on that. I don't know. If they do, I'm going to definitely get it. Because I love Chucky. Chucky is a cool ass uh, franchise. Alright, and there's Tiffany and her and her mean wisdom, okay? She's freaking cool in the movie, too. Jennifer Tilly is an awesome actress, no offense. And she's got an amazing body. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, I like her acting, always have. Right? Especially when she first started in this particular series. Along with Brad Dourif, they are synonymous to Chucky. Right? And that's what that looks like. Now, you're probably not going to say, see it, Chucky? The box art is absolutely amazing on this thing. It shows uh, pictures of the actual. All right, I'm going to lift this one up so you can actually appreciate the looks of this. That is absolutely cool looking. Very nice artwork. All right, and you can see you got the try me hole in the back where you can push it. And it plays two separate uh, sounds. It's like a um, secondary switch on it. And if you switch it all the way up, you hear all the sounds, which we'll get into later. All right. Right, that's what that says there. It says, hear actual phrases from the movies. In most cases, when they do these things, as right, you can see there's some writing here, when they do these things, they take quotes, movie quotes from the movies itself, like Freddy Krueger. <clears throat> there is, um, they take quotes from that. And I got the Terrifier. Yeah, and mostly in most cases, uh, the quotes do come from the movies itself, okay? Which is cool, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And I think she does come with a knife. I'm not sure. I'm going to check it out when I get it out of the box. Alright, so now I'm going to lift this. Alright, 
let me see if I can actually squeeze this in without knocking that over. No, I can't. Okay, so I'm going to turn this around so you can actually see what it looks like. There you go. The Cedar Chucky. All right. I've got to kind of move the um, camera around because this box is huge. Okay. All right, well, you pretty much got the gist of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shut this down and pull her out of the box. It will take some time because sometimes when the these come in, sometimes you can they got like a not a vacuum form uh, plating, but the plastic um, that it comes with. Sometimes you can pop the dolls out, and sometimes they strap them in. So I got to cut them out. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. It took a little bit of time to get her out of the box because sometimes, like I said. They, uh, they put them in the plastic uh, clamshells, and you can just pop them out, but in this case, they had her tied in. Most mega scales will be tied in, so you got to snip the cables and stuff and get her out of the box. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into the actual um, figure itself, the articulation and everything, and then we're going to get into the sound effects, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut off the sound effects if it doesn't go off, <laughs> okay? Now, towards the back here, you'll notice this is how you access it. Now, for some strange reason, if you're, if you're, uh, the, uh, the actual uh, voice doesn't work on this, uh, you might want to replace the batteries, and I'll show you where those are at once I get this taken apart here. Now, you see there's a little switch right there? There's three modes, okay? Okay, well, we got all the way down, and I give you the secondary modes, but I'm going to hit right now and show you what it's like. There's, there's that little button right there, okay? I love you, Chucky. I love you, Chucky. Pull still, honey, I'm going to poke you in the eye again. I love you, Chucky. So it's just two modes for that. But when you switch it up, they give you extra modes. We'll get into that in a second here. So we're going to shut that off. But that's how you get into the back of it. Now, as you can see right here, the actual backing here, you got to unscrew it. And I think it's towards the bottom here. I can barely see that, but there it is. See that screw? You just loosen up with that screw, pop out the three batteries, and put brand new ones in. If for some strange reason you get yours in, and the voice just kind of like skips, 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 that means the batteries are dead. You're gonna have to replace the batteries in it. All right. So, but anyway, let's get her back together. All right. And you just kind of just snap them together. Make sure you line it up a little bit. But anyway, let's get into the actual figure. Now the hair in itself, before we actually get into this, can be a little um, tricky. But, you know, if you're into playing with dolls, <laughs> you, can, uh, you know how to freaking dress this up. But anyway, it took a little bit of time. But anyway, let's get into her face here. Alright, I'm going to just pull this back a little bit. Voila! <laughs> okay, so let me just do one thing here. I'm going to raise this tripod up a bit. Now this is a small tripod on this camera, but it's the best one I've ever gotten. Okay. Whoopsies. Alright. Now what is that? Is that the cap to it? Alright. Let me check that out. Okay. There's a little button towards the bottom of it. So hold on. There we go. Yep. It's a little, um, plug that kind of plugs up the bottom which I don't know why they make it like that but it is what it is but let's get into the facial features of this okay all right it keeps popping on I'll be right back okay, we're back we had some operating difficulties with my uh, tripod on my camera there's a little button that comes on onto the uh, bottom of it and it won't stay so I'm probably gonna have to go a little back in or something who knows but anyway it's a work in progress let's get into the actual figure in itself Let's check out her facial features. These are absolutely amazing. The color, the details in the eyes are spot on. Her mouth is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and the color scheme, the black lipstick, everything. Now, in the, well, they don't have one, but eventually I'm hoping they're going to do a mega scale version of uh, the Bride of Chucky, which is where she wears the black uh, leather jacket. And my dog's barking because I'm not letting him in yet. But anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We had some operating difficulties with the tripod. Apparently, we have... Let me pull this back here. All right. 
this right here all right there's like a plug that goes to the bottom of the tripod I think I'm gonna have to glue it back in because it keeps falling out so I think I just kind of broke the mold and I just got to re-glue it back in no big deal anyway let's get into the actual figure again let's look at the actual paint scheme the eyes are absolutely spectacular the makeup on this thing is absolutely very nice it's got very beautiful skin tones and the mouth really does stand out because it's pure white teeth and it's got black lipstick and everything they really did a nice job on the paint scheme on this thing okay and she looks good all right so let me back that up a little bit now let me pull the dress down a little bit now you'll notice her head is on a ball joint so you can position this just like any other mega scale, okay? And so that's what we're going to do once I get her on the stand. Now, I will tell you this. I do have the Bride of Chucky, which is kind of, um, they're together, technically, in the movie Seed of Chucky. Um, and I'm going to show you that one here in a second, too. So we're going to go into the voices on that um, and the movie quotes and stuff. But anyway, getting back to her again. You'll notice that she does have a tattoo. I don't know if that's too dark for you to see. Maybe not. I don't know. But she's got a little cleavage there. Okay. You see the tattoo right there? Of her heart. And they paid attention to detail here. So it's really cool. Now keep in mind these are not movie accurate. But when you see them you, you know that's what they are. They're actually the actual character. So let's get into the actual articulation here. Okay, now the arms, they got a clicking feel to it. See, you can lock them into position. Okay. The hands do move back and forth. See, the actual material for the wedding dress is absolutely cool. Very nicely detailed. All right, and yeah, she's got some boobage. Okay, now she does come with an accessory, and that's this knife right here. All right. Again, same side for this arm. The arm does move up and down, and her hand does move side to side. All right. I believe there's 11 points of articulation in these particular figures. All right. The dress. All right. It's very nice. Right. Now her hair. As you can see, if you're not into playing with dolls you got to really get this hair perfect she looks good once you get her hair combed and in proper place so you see how I'm playing with it because I like dollies <laughs> but you know you got to play around with these things and get them right you know what I'm saying all right there you go see. nice job that's like a natural look about them they got a nice little sheen in that hair okay now Getting to the back here. Okay, now I showed you this earlier. All right. If you pull this apart right here, it gives you total access to her back. Okay. As you can see, the battery case, the button, which is shut off right now, but we will show you the sounds here in a second. Uh, it comes with three modes. You switch it up, you got like four or five sounds. Switch it down, completely down, uh, two sounds, it's like a try me uh, button, and then push it towards the center so you don't drain your battery. That's usually what I do, I shut it off after a while. So, let me put her back together here. All right. All right. Okay. All right, so there. With that in mind, we're going to get into the sound effects here in a second, but you got to adjust this dress so it fits on her properly. Okay. All right. The back of the dress. That's cool. All right. Now, I will tell you this I just pre ordered uh, the Mega Scale version of uh, Glenn because I got to complete the collection. I got Chucky, I got three Chuckies. And now I got the Bride of Chucky, or in this case, the Seed of Chucky. 
And I'm hoping to do a brighter Chucky, because I'll definitely get one of those, okay? Because it's got the black leather jacket and everything. Um, and I, I just pre-ordered the actual Glenn, so we're going to have a complete set there in that aspect. Uh, I've got three Chuckies. Uh, one is from Part 2, and the brighter Chucky, which I'm going to show you here in a second. And Pizza Face Chucky, I got that one too. Alright, so let's get into the actual sound effects of this particular... No, let me show you the hands here before we get into that. Alright, it's got a nice little detail. Fingernails are painted black because she's gothic in nature. Okay, now she's wearing her famous boots, okay? And you can see they're pretty big, so if you position her right, you wouldn't have a problem with her falling over. Okay? So enough about that. Let's get into the actual sound effects. Again, I gotta pull her. And maybe I can do it without that. I can find it. Yeah, let's just pull it out. Right. Okay. I love you, Chucky. I love you, Chucky. Okay, we're good. Alright, now. Get her position, show off her boobage, okay? Are right, you guys ready? Let's get into the sound effects now. Find the button. I love you, Chucky. Hold still, honey, I'm gonna poke you in the eye again. <laughs> well, at least I forgot that don't go a good time. <laughs> oh, Chucky. Yes. <laughs> Huh. There's no telling what she was doing there. <laughs> I hope you left room for dessert. <laughs> Sweet babe, come to mommy. Come to mommy. Thank you, doll baby. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Where's your doll back? So far, that's five of them. I love you, Chucky. Yeah, that's five of them. Okay. What I want to get is I want to get the Jason Voorhees one, but unfortunately it's been out for a while. And they don't sell it on Big Bad Toy Store simply because it's been out for a while. And we had those copyright um, problems with them. And now hopefully they got that straightened out. And we'll start seeing some new movies based on Jason. But they do sell uh, a mega scale version of uh, Jason on Walmart for the same price. So I'm thinking about getting that too. And I also, like I said, I got the Glenn. And I've got a Michael Myers from Halloween 2. That's a mega scale. And that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Hopefully I'll get that soon. And we'll do a video on that. But in the meantime, this is my Tiffany. Okay, it's from the Seed of Chucky. You saw the box art. And I'm going to pretty much end this here and add this to the collection. Oh, before we do that, I meant to tell you that. I'll pull her off to the side, and we're going to get into Chucky here. I forgot to tell you that. I was going to show you Chucky and do the sound effects and everything. Okay. So let me get into this here real quick. And see if it'll still work, that is. Yeah, I do. Okay, now, let's get into this one here. This is the Bride of Chucky. Alright. Okay, this guy here, as you can see, he's a little messed up. It's because in part three, uh, I think he got pushed or he slipped and fell into the fan. And they, they cut his ass up into little pieces. Then in the Bride of Chucky, they kind of sewed him together, as you can clearly see here. And voodooed his ass back to life. Okay, but anyway, uh, that's when Tiffany came in. In that movie and they turn around and did the same thing transferred her spirit into the doll and they see you know boom okay anyway let's get into Chucky now I'll show you what he looks like now I do have a separate video based on this guy because this was the very first one that I bought because I actually seen a video a long time ago and they had this Mezgo figure leaning up against the wall I'm like oh my god that's fucking cool looking right so I went and looked for it and Needless to say, Mezco makes these fucking figures. The um, they cost like an average of a hundred dollars, 
you can probably get them cheaper if you're lucky elsewhere but the average cost is like a hundred five dollars with shipping and handling okay anyway let's look at him a little bit just so you know what he looks like a little I'm gonna give you just a brief look shoes okay all right I'm going to show you the head here in a second. Then we get into the sound effects. Okay. All right. Now the head, as you can see, he's got metal plating. All right. All right let's get his arms out of the way. All right. Hi, I am Chucky. <laughs> okay. It's very cool looking when they did this. This is the very first one I ever bought of Chucky. It was actually my very first Mezco uh, Mega Scale too. And I've been buying them ever since. Uh, uh, like I said, I got the Glenn coming in. And I got a Michael Myers coming in. But I also got some Living Dead dolls. I've been collecting those for a while. I've got them, uh, him and Tiffany coming in. They're a double box set. And they're about $100. Well, give or take. You know, They'll be coming in. I got a crow coming in right now. It's being processed. We'll do a video on that next once it comes in. But anyway, let's get into the actual sound effects of this guy. Let me find the button. A true classic. Never goes out of style. Hang on, let me turn his head here a little bit. Okay. Alright. Get off my knife. Yes, yeah, right. You get off his knife, okay? I'll be back. I always come back. I don't have a problem with killing. I like a little killing now and then. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Okay, well that's pretty much it on the sound effects. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out that next video, which most likely will be the the crow, the living dead doll version of the crow. Um, I got that coming in. Now I did actually see that movie, uh, the new one that came out in 2024. It was okay. It's nothing like the original. I mean, it's just, it's different, put it that way. But it's got some similarities. But all in all, it wasn't a bad movie, okay? But it's not as good as the first one, not in my opinion. Second one is really good with, I think his name is Anthony Perez or something. Well, anyway, he's the crow in that one. That one's actually a pretty good movie, too. And then the third one and the fourth one after that, they got kind of stupid, so. I don't watch those. But anyway, long story short, you guys have yourselves a good day, and I will see you at the next video.